Polly Shore. He's got his new Jam in the Van show hosted by Polly Shore on YouTube, and it is a hit. Drew- I just took some fucking ayahuasca, bro. So I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm my, I need a fucking bucket, dude. You have a fucking bucket, bro? We got a bucket. We right got- in front of you, man. Kill yeah, Tony bucket. bucket. Little- Don't worry yeah. about these people. We'll- Keep on the names. Keep most, on the names. There are, most of them are already covered in vomit. <laughs> so the last... Nine or ten months I've spent uh, performing for the best audiences in, in the country, which are my friends right here in Austin, Texas, where I live. And, uh, 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 what what makes you like this particular? Vi- what makes you like this particular? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. You can catch Paulie hosting his new show on YouTube. Uh, called Jam in the Van. There's a little taste of it right there. Polly as oh, a host. Everyone. I wish I already knew the answer. I would just say it. <laughs> What makes the, ve- 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 the, 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 the best the venue, dude. dude? Can I say something? I'm like, <laughs> you don't have to ask if you can say something, Polly. That's not that I don't want to disrespect because I'm moving here, bro. Well, luckily, you guys have been on the show multiple times, Polly and Ron, and over 200 human souls signed up for the chance to be on this stage tonight. Absolutely can I, can anything can Can I say just happen. one more thing without disrupting? You don't no, have to no, ask nice if you can. It's okay. getting kind of crazy because it's been twice. At this pace, you're going to do this 75 times tonight because you've done it twice in the first four no, minutes. No, his so. show started at my mom's club 10 years ago in the belly room. No one was fucking there. No one was there. No one was around and he developed it and it's pretty fucking awesome so I've known him when he first came out to the comedy store where he's answering phones and looking for like pennies and shit I and was. dimes I was looking for pennies. just to things just to make ends meet sad to hear that the great Matthew Perry died alone in a hot tub you know for a guy on a show called Friends he could have used a couple <laughs> Who knew the opening credits were his cry for help? (laughs) Women are crazy. We all know this. Women are always into murder documentaries. They like to watch people losing their life. Men, we're more positive. We like to watch people creating life. (laughs) Thank you. Fun fact is that everyone that tours with me is afraid to say that they have to go pee because... (laughs) I always say that it slows us up. I'm a real fucking piece of shit on the road. I'm a nightmare. <laughs> nightmare to deal with. I don't pee. Why are you peeing if I'm not peeing and I'm like the main guy? <laughs> Red man as well. Oh, He's yeah. He's a non-peer. Yeah, I could uh, pee, not pee for like 12 hours. Exactly. Yeah. You got, it's the podcast way. Welcome to the business. <laughs> Looks like you've not been peeing for six years. <laughs> you sh- What? You suck. You, you're, you're saying the red band's filled with piss? Jesus. <laughs> Hans. Well, you know he likes yellow things. Whoa. A reference to his Asian girlfriend. That's right. You have more stuff coming up, right? More dates? I'm in Tacoma next week, which will already be over. But uh, okay. Spokane coming up and then, uh, you know, other places. It's on my website. Go check it out. What's your website? Uh, BobbyLee.com. <laughs> Jesus, Hans. So it w- before we were uh, when we were upstairs, I asked him if he brought his girlfriend to the Warfield show this weekend, and you said what? I said no. I because uh, Tony I said what? Because Tony he said not cool, dude. <laughs> but then Tacoma, what? Tacoma, yeah. What are you asking him? <laughs> what are you doing? I ask the questions. You sit back and hit it. What did I say? Hit what? Hit the button when it no, goes. No, meow, <laughs> meow. no, no. Meow. Oh, the bear, the bear, right? Again, Polly's show, which you guys can be some of the first viewers of, I'm sure. It's the Jam in the Van show, hosted by Polly Shore. You have anything on YouTube you can watch? Why not watch Polly again? <laughs> the Jam in the Van show. He's, he... <laughs> I'm fully aware that I look like a douchebag. I look like I have a bumper sticker that says Beast Mode, and I still talk about my high school baseball stats. I love working out, just not at Planet Fitness, you know? Because they give away free pizza on Mondays. That's like the opposite of what I'm trying to do, right? That's like if I went to church on Sunday and did a bump of Coke with my priest on the way out. (laughs) You guys know September is National Childhood Obesity Awareness Month? Me either, right? (laughs) Did the obese children have a say in this? Because as an alumni of childhood obesity, (laughs) I was aware I was fat every month. 
So Tony, uh, where uh, where do you live? So I'm from Florida, visiting Austin. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been? Yes, the sweet sound of Florida music, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he okay. looks familiar to me, actually. Yeah, like I've seen him before. Yeah. Yeah. Where have you seen him? Where, I'll tell you where. Where have you seen him? He was at a Palestine rally in Washington last night. <laughs> yeah. These guys are all coming up with new Italian names now. <laughs> exactly. Three I'm weeks ago, he was Muhammad. <laughs> now he's Tony Siciliano. Hey, what's up? No hey, it's way. me, Tony. I need a hey, I need a good fake Italian name. How about <laughs> hey, how about first first one? Tony Siciliano. You think that's too much? No, no. What's your love life like, Tony Siciliano? I have a girlfriend. One cool fact about her, she's from Ukraine, actually. She was born there. Okay. Yeah. That, that's that cool. a I fucking that's fun cool. fact. Yeah. <laughs> It's been yeah. an interesting fact last hey, year. Did you get, is it like a male or women order bride type situation? Yeah, yeah. Because I've seen on the internet you can get Ukrainian women for very cheap, I'm just saying. <laughs> it and they're hot as deal. fuck. It was a good deal. Oh, she moved here when she was nine, actually. Oh. She's ten now, but it's, it's fine. Oh, you son of a bitch. Look, you <laughs> snuck one in there. You snuck one in there. Can I say something about him? Say it, say it, baby. No. I what <laughs> podcast are you used to doing? <laughs> hey, Joe, can Chinese. I say something? Like, what are you talking about? Chinese, Fucking I think. Say it. Chinese, I think you're likable. Okay. You think I'm likable? Called you Chinese <laughs> and that you're likable. Is what? she mad about the Israeli Palestinian war because it's got first billing now over the Ukrainian Russian <laughs> war? <laughs> yeah. She's the undercard now. <laughs> The main event is much more exciting. <laughs> yeah. Tony Siciliano. I still can't believe how Italian your name is. What's your dad's name? Peter. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of penis are we working with? <laughs> Italians are famous for... No bad reviews. Okay. So there we go. Well, yeah, but a little tiny Ukrainian <laughs> pussy. I mean, that's like no challenge. Is whatsoever. it an innie or an Audi? After I cold plunge, it's an innie, but mostly it's an Audi. But do you have foreskin on it? No, no, no. no. So it's been circumcised. I didn't know that was innie or Audi, but yeah, no, it's an Audi. I'm snipped. Yeah. So when your girl goes down on it, she doesn't have to fold it down, right? It's okay, like, Polly. Uh, Polly, I, I don't think you need too many more follow-up questions for the circumcised thing. Is it coming out tonight? <laughs> so it's like, let me ask you one more. There's like extra skin. <laughs> <laughs> or no extra skin. Are you like, circumcised, Polly? Do, <laughs> do I have to explain this to you? No, yeah, Polly had the. They do the whole rabbi suck off thing with you, right? <laughs> you guys get the rabbi suck off? I don't know. I'm not Jewish anymore. <laughs> I got. What's it called when you get co converted? I'm yeah. deconverted. Yeah. yeah. We had to. Just, we, yeah. We, we told him if you want to move to Texas. So they, they sewed it back on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this show doesn't need me. Yeah, we I know I look like Rasputin and Mr. Rogers had a baby, dude. <laughs> I've been thinking about becoming a vegetarian. I thought of the perfect loophole to become a vegetarian. Anything can be a vegetable if you hit it in the head hard enough. <laughs> Welcome. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Talk right into the tip of that microphone. You're not on the streets anymore. Uh, uh, so how long have you been doing stand-up? I started in 2018. 2018, okay. So you've been doing it about five years. Yeah. yeah. Right, and where'd you start at? Dallas. Dallas, and you look unbelievably homeless. <laughs> I mean, that specifically, like that jacket. Are you, you know, homeless? Because I, I, I kind of focused on the jacket, but I completely missed your face and head. I mean, you have a complete homeless head. The jacket comes in second place to your extremely homeless head. Are you homeless? I've slept in my truck and I live with my mom, so almost. Slept in your truck and you live with your mom. So you pull the truck into the garage and then... How does uh, that work? My mom was the Mansfield, and so when I'm in Austin. I is it Charles Manson Field? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people on this stage have slept in their car before, is that, that right? That is true. So there's nothing wrong with that. I, I haven't true. been one of them. No. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is well, it's not over yet, Polly, and I don't know.
Why don't we give him one more try just to pretend we didn't have see that part? No. <laughs> no, Polly. And let him I'm open gonna, with the I'm vegetable gonna, joke. It's fucking... The, I'm going to run the whole thing, and then you can do your stuff on the Jam in the Van show on, on YouTube, everybody. <laughs> Hosted by Polly Shore, where anything Polly wants to happen can happen. The possibilities are endless. Do you have a pigeon chest? Yes, I do. How do you know? Whoa, how did you know that? He just like, he, like, put his hand over his eyes and was like, do you have a pigeon chest? What, did, what, what kind of crazy talent is that? Because I saw that his chest, his chest, his chest is concave, bro. It goes in. Yeah, it goes you got it. He's yeah, got an in. Hey, man, that, you're paying too much attention to me. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> you want to see me with my shirt off? Yes. Please. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> well, I mean, we might as chest. well now. Yeah. Let's just. Oh look. my god! Oh my god! You fit and have beautiful skin, bro. Thank you, man. What the fuck thank is that you, supposed to mean? <laughs> he's saying he fit and have some beautiful skin. <laughs> he what? Paulie just see my aura right now. He don't even see a person no more. It's like, Ugh. Yeah. 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 Wait, you have a you have a normal chest? <laughs> <laughs> Two nipples? <laughs> Can we see your body, bro? Take your shirt Whoa, off. Oh, no, no, no. Ladies, you want to see a sexy body? body? Oh, oh, shit. My own Yo, man. Chinese, he just started black.com. What's up? <laughs> oh, I shit. Polly want me to strip up here and shit? This is crazy. Uh, no, I'm not going to like him. I white that. man, Polly. That's fucked up, dog. We in Texas now, nigga. It's Yo, not California respect, no more, man. <laughs> yeah. That's how you get jobs in LA. Take your shirt off. <laughs> You want to be on? You want to be on the jam in the van show? <laughs> What's your favorite thing about the venue? <laughs> oh shit! So the other day I was at the grocery store and I was fucking high as shit. I'm like in the freezer section, and I hear. Evan, please come to customer service. So I go up to customer service. I go, hey, what's up? And they're like, what's going on? <laughs> well, you, just, you guys just called me to come up here. And the guy looks down at his name tag and looks up to me and his name tag says Evan. It was terrifying. It was I, terrifying. I, it was I bet it was. I bet it was. Yeah, it was terrifying. What? Up here? Or no, at the grocery being at store. at the grocery store. You know that that's like a normal thing? Like you told like a normal story that could happen to anybody on any given day? It's Did a very know? small town. Right. So I just assumed, oh, well, you know, I know some of the greeters. But you didn't know Evan. You didn't know the Evan that worked there. You're correct. You were correct. You didn't know the everybody. It's such a small town. What there. was the funny part? I don't know. <laughs> Even if all those things are true, what was supposed to be funny? What? What, did, what made you pick that story? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm All freaking right, out because Ron White's right here. What, I enough. can't imagine the jokes that you didn't do in lieu of that. Like one time I was driving and my check engine light came on. I went to the oil change place and they said I needed an oil change. They changed my oil. And the and guy's name I... was Evan. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, dude. I know. Excuse I got to tell you, I like you, though. Thank you. I do. I, I, I like, like you, too. I think you're probably a really I've good guy. I've liked you since, you know, I was, I don't know, probably 12 years old. Oh, I, man. I remember. He was Jeez. just... Now I feel horrible about all the shit I said. I was, <laughs> and for what I was thinking <laughs> right now. I grew up with you. I went and saw you with my dad in Kansas City at the Midland Theater. That's bad parenting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. My best friend from growing up, uh -huh. is, he, he, now, he lives in Montana, uh -huh. and his girlfriend got tickets for us to come here for okay. his birthday. Today's his birthday. Right. Okay. So did he sign up? Yeah, he did. Come up here. It's your birthday. You're getting married. Let's see what happens here. So I was looking at a recipe for traditional German coleslaw the other day. <laughs> it had bacon in it, and I thought, 
damn, that's an interesting way to tell the Jews they're not welcome at your barbecue. <laughs> So like, maybe Hitler went a little too far. Right. He could have just made all the German food way more delicious, and they kind of would have left. <laughs> like, oh, maybe you'd feel more comfortable at another barbecue. Maybe in uh, Hollywood or New York, far from here. Please leave. <laughs> God, that's, that's what I came up with. 57 seconds. That was your first time on stage, too. Yeah. And it went really well for you. I like to think so, yeah. Most importantly, it went really... You fucking murdered, dude. Yeah. You fucking murdered. You came up there and Thank fucking you. murdered. Thank you. Spencer, what do you do for a living? I'm a brewer and a volunteer firefighter. Hell yeah, look at you. An American hero, everybody. Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. First responder. Shows up with booze. Wow. Is that firefighting, huh? Volunteer firefighting. So what kind of things do you do? Is that where you found your friend? Did someone say that a pussy was stuck in a tree? <laughs> you know that a lot of the firefighters are uh, going to Israel right now? Did you know that? Pass on that. Yeah. I don't know if you heard his material, but I don't think he's going to fight for Israel. <laughs> well, Montana has... Um, what's the biggest city there? Billings. Billings. Billings, yeah. Billings and Bozeman now is having a scene, Thanks. but... Uh, yeah. yeah not, is there any not black much. people there? Not many, no. Oh, dude. Not cool. Whoa. Every time I've ever visited uh -oh, him... Uh-oh, here, uh, here comes the senior hilarious correspondent stepping in. He's got something for the black people in Montana reference. And here we go. Every so... time I've been to Montana, I gotta tell you... <laughs> Well, they ain't in the grocery stores I go to. <laughs> Whoa! Never. My goodness, I gotta tell you about the black people in Montana. Am I right? <laughs> there are none. <laughs> we gotta bring Cam out here. He's gotta represent, bro. No, 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 no. I don't want Cam near these guys. They'll fuck up. <laughs> oh, shit. There's one. There's one. Funny, amazing eclipse happening right now. You never see black people, and he never sees white people, so. Interesting. I just want to give y'all some advice. I ain't got a lot of time, uh, specifically for the fellas. So I want to say constantly work on improving yourself. Make sure being, you're focused on being better than who you were yesterday, specifically with your oral sex abilities. Make sure you're constantly improving your pussy-pleasing performance because these lesbians, they're coming for your job. They're coming for your job like a thief in the night. They have the work ethic of an illegal Mexican, okay? They will, they'll do it twice as good for half the pay, is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not trying to rag on the lesbians, you know what I'm saying? They keep your friends close, enemies closer, is what I'm trying to tell you, you know what I'm saying? These lesbians, they have the steep advantage, they can put their dicks on the charger, you know what I'm saying? I always considered you like the white Bernie Mac, by the way. Okay, that's a big compliment. Ron White's a bad motherfucker. I'll take Ron that, White. Man, any day. What, what did, you, consi what did you consider me? <laughs> Tony, go ask the questions. We're good, dude. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I didn't know black guys ate pussy. <laughs> I'm trying to make a change. I started high school when Obama first was elected, so I'm all about. So I'm all about making a change amongst Negroes. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like, I got good credit. I know my father and I eat pussy. I'm killing it. Wow. Holy I'm killing shit. It. I'm killing it. Oh my goodness. My father ain't shit, but I know the nigga. You know what I mean? Wow. You swim? Yeah. <laughs> Tony. I have a life jacket, Tony. That was a... <laughs> That was a low, that was a dirty, dirty, oh, it's a dirty motherfucker. God Is your damn. life jacket bulletproof as well? Yeah. I got a lot of yep. questions. Yep. Uh, can I have, yes. can okay. I have Kino give me the spotlight? Cause I want to show you how I eat this. Okay, <laughs> absolutely, let's do it. Oh, I don't know if you ever heard of the actor Leonardo DiCaprio. Ow! Can I, can I give it up for Leonardo DiCaprio, please? 
And I'm not kidding. He said this to me once. We were at a club, and he looked over at me, and he says to me, and I'm not... What are you doing here? <laughs> who said... <laughs> Chinese, who said that, motherfuckers? I'll throw a microphone at someone's fucking head. Like it's Limp Biscuit, 1999. I don't give a fuck. Listen. He looked at me, and he said, Dude, Who you... are you? <laughs> Is this a Make-A-Wish? <laughs> what are you dying? Chinese, <laughs> listen. If they had their fucking phones, they could Google Polly Shore teaches Leonardo DiCaprio how to eat pussy, and then they'll tell you to fuck off. Because you'll see that on the internet. Let me finish my sentence. He says to me, Leonardo says to me, he goes, dude, you look like you eat pussy really good. I'm just saying that. There's no joke. I said, why do you say that? He goes, it just seems like you do. And I'll tell you how I do it. That's you a ready? way of saying that he thinks you have a small penis. Too. That's what I do. So you go like this, like this. So you go, mm, mm, and you go, mm. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You taught, you taught Gilbert Greg. <laughs> Taught Gilbert Grape how to eat pussy? No, oh, he just said he looks, I look like I know how to eat pussy. That's all he said. No, I know, I know. I was doing a joke, Polly. It's a thing that we do on That's comedy. That's all he said the whole night? <laughs> you look like you know how to eat pussy. The Make a Wish has arrived. <laughs> Guys, I just moved to Austin. I'm very excited about it. But there are a couple times I've gotten confused here. Like one time I was walking down 6th Street and there was this guy on his phone talking to an Instagram live. And he saw me and he goes, Yo! Look at that vaping baby! <laughs> and he goes, Hey little baby, blow some clouds! So I blew some clouds, I entertained the man. And then he saw my tattoos, and he wanted me to show those off. So I show him this one right here, and I show him this one, and then I showed him my penis in the alley. <laughs> he tricked me. The last time you were on the show, I offered uh, a very beautiful woman lifetime tickets to kill Tony if she fucked your brains out. Um, do you have any updates for us on your sex life the past week since you've been? It never happened, Tony. It never happened. It never happened. Wow. I know. So can we say, bitches? I, I didn't tell her the other side of that. She's banned forever from buying. <laughs> <laughs> this is a high pressure situation. It's a real live show. Anything can happen. I think there's a girl tonight that'll probably suck your dick. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, she has short hair and is wearing a red and black flannel. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, Polly, don't. No, come on, Polly. No, come on. You're, you're over 18, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Here he goes. What, what Sucking his dick. Polly Shore, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he grabbed the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Must see TV here. <laughs> Only on Kill Tony. Have you noticed any people getting jealous? Um, not really. They seem happy for the right. most part. Okay, good. You want to be on my jam in the van show? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to be on your jam in the van show. <laughs> You're not supposed to, What did I tell you about inviting people that look like this into vans, Polly? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to jam in the van with me? I already almost sucked his dick, dude. Come yeah. on. <laughs> I am X. My, one minute started. My name is Paige. I'm an open book. Is she going to stay in the episode or do you cut that part out? No, she'll stay in. She'll stay in. She, she, she answered just enough questions. You can a... shorten it, right? When I started doing comedy, I was in a really bad place. El Paso, Texas. <laughs> El Paso has one of the largest landfills in this country. It's called New Mexico. <laughs> there was a mass shooting at a Walmart in El Paso. 15 people died. 11 of them volunteered. 
what you what are you on today? <laughs> I'm on love, guys. Come on. Oh, one no, of the mo- one of the one fine. of the most boring drugs available. I, know, love, I, I gave him something about a half hour ago. You did? What was it? The bad jokes that he did? <laughs> How long have you lived in Austin? I live in San Antonio. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, I'm from Laredo. I'm from a border town. Huh? All right. Brownsville. No, Laredo. (laughs) Brownsville's got some good beans, dude. Whoa, I don't think you're allowed to call them that anymore. (laughs) I started kickboxing. I I can't fight for shit. Uh, Ironically, my favorite shirt to wear to the gym is a tank top that says Iron Mike Tyson on it. I think if I wear it, I'm going to somehow channel some of Mike Tyson's greatness through that shirt. When I was a kid, I asked for braces. My parents said, no, John, we want you to have at least one thing in common with Mike Tyson. So, that makes sense. Well, Mike Tyson went to prison for rape when he was 26. I'm only 25. I bet you're scared of being intimate with a boy. <laughs> and I think it's time that yeah. you face your fears. Uh oh! Wow! Oh my! Wow! Look at that! He was gonna do it! Oh my goodness gracious! Thank God, D Madness has no idea what's going on right now. He would have left five minutes ago. If he... <laughs> it's funny because he's homophobic. <laughs> Just kidding. D's not homophobic. <laughs> Howdy, niggas. <laughs> See, I appreciate that. It's my favorite pastime. I like going into rooms crowded full of white folks and just shouting out nigga a bunch. We all got them friends that just be like, uh, God's got me in any situation. They'd be like, hey, man, fuck that test. God's got me. <laughs> but, all right get some semi-serious shit, be like, hey, man, fuck that shit. I'm going in raw tonight. God's got me. <laughs> but then, you know, you got some serious shit for real, you be like, hey, man, fuck paying them taxes. God's got me. <laughs> man, God came down with the quickness and was like, I ain't got shit. <laughs> Uncle Sam got your black ass, nigga. Thanks, man. Fuck yeah. When were you on this show? What? In whatever the, 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 I think March, the first month I was here. Okay. Yeah, I had a fro though then. Okay. You had to, why'd you get rid of the fro? Man, because I got, came, I came about some money, so I can get a haircut now. <laughs> okay. How'd you come about some money? Where, where, was, the, where was this great looting at? Um. <laughs> so when you had an, you had an afro? Yeah, Did you have a pick in it and cruise around with the pick, too? Because that's a good look, bro. Yeah, man, I had one, man. That's tight. Okay, thank you. Where'd you come across the money? Huh? The question that I asked a minute ago that you avoided. I was selling myself. What do you mean? Oh, you were being a, a, like a, you know what I mean? Let them answer the question, really. What does a menu of uh, Aaron McPherson look like? What is it? What does the menu, dick? Okay, was that the only thing on the menu, just dick? It's of like, course, man, shit. But I mean, again, what's like the range? Oh, food, there... man. You know, I got food, too. I'll make some food for you. <laughs> a dick and a sandwich. What do you got? <laughs> yeah. Exactly, Yeah, man. exactly. So, come on. Like, what's the price range here, exactly? What's the price range? All right, I'm setting it right now. Since I'm on this, uh, it's about seven fifty. Seven hundred and fifty dollars Yeah, for some dick and some chicken. Wow. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was going to be actual seven fifty, like you would give two quarters and change. <laughs> no, I do got secrets, though. Yeah? <laughs> Can you tell us one? Can you tell us one of your secrets? Tell me one of your secrets. All right. Hey, there's some bitches in Winfield. I was, I was fucking, and they mans like to get cooked. So I was fucking bitches in front of their niggas. Oh, okay. And they pay you for that. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. What was it, like an internship or something like that? <laughs> wow. 
So uh, what do the guys do when they're watching you bang their women? Shit, I don't know. I ain't looking at them niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good point. That's a, that was the correct answer. <laughs> that was a trick, and you did not take the bait whatsoever. <laughs> Were they fully, fully clothed, though, right? You're, no gay shit's going on there. Yeah, none, none of that gay shit. Right. All right, then I'm leaving, bro. <laughs> no, you got to stay, Polly. No, gay shit. No gay shit. No, no, no gay shit. <laughs> D-Man, this is rules. Um, Webster's Dictionary just added the word girl boss. Just know this, ladies. If I ever call you a girl boss, I respect you just as much as a normal boss. <laughs> but seriously, if you're called girl boss, you're probably called raging bitch by everyone else in your life. Funny how some of the same people posting about climate change also sharing horoscope memes. Climate change is real. It's science. Also, I'm Sagittarius, so you know I'd be judging real quick this month. So nice to be here tonight. I think everybody will be happy to know uh, Tony and I went to a Russian bathhouse in we, San Francisco. Archimedes Banya. Shout out. I think that's the name. Yeah, of Archimedes it. Banya. Fucking greatest place I've ever been to in my entire life. And that was just for the dicks. It's the only thing about San Francisco that it's amazing right now. Because that place is literally a fucking, uh, I mean. It's like a hellscape right now. I mean, there were people doing meth, shooting up stuff, drinking stuff. I mean, So I'm many people in wheelchairs, an obnoxious amount fucking. of homeless people in wheelchairs. It was like there was a wheelchair basketball game going on, but there was no basketball. Just people going in the streets and back and forward. and It was fucking crazy. I don't know what's going on there, but nobody's walking anymore. Crippled people already give me the creep More sometimes. I mean, it was a nightmare. Shit. More human shit on a sidewalk than I've seen in three years in a weekend. Uh, yeah, they don't even... Remember when they, they used to go to, like, alleyways and stuff? They used to have some fucking pride. Now they literally... They just, they just stand up out of the wheelchair straight up. And then next to the wheelchair, they take a shit, and then they get back in the wheelchair. And they fucking roll away from the scene of the crime. It's kind of like Red Band's mom's house. There's oh, just shit... <laughs> I mean, she's getting older. Y'all know that bitch be old these days. And I mean, she is shitting fucking everywhere in that oh, motherfucker. Look at the wheels Yo, turning over here. <laughs> Your pee hole, I mean, so absolutely small. tiny. There's just no way to describe it other than a, 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 it is a God's sense of humor. Yeah, it's really small. Also, who uh, has a small TT hole? Red Band's mom. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my God! Hard yeah, said TTO bitch. Wow. Her, hers isn't that small because of cancer, though. Whoa. Yeah, I have skin cancer. Why would you bring that up, dumbass? I have to go under the fucking knife in two weeks. Wow. You have to go under the knife. Red Band's going under the fork. Because <laughs> he likes food. <laughs> and his mom's under the table because her bitch ass is drunk all the time. There's shit everywhere. She's peeing all over the fucking place. She's drunk under tables. She's the one who gave me herpes, by the way. Tony asked me. We did look at each other's penises. I have herpes on my penis right now. And he's like, where'd you get that? I was like, you know Red Band's mom, bitch. <laughs> this is all true, William. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, you know, oh, it's you, all you know. true. You know, talking in, about it. In the 1990s, when mom's jokes came out, uh, my mom told me, like, don't worry about it, son. I know all the people in the playground are talking about me being a whore with a small pee hole and all this shit. And, and I, it doesn't bother me anymore, William. So, you, you were at a playground at one point? I mean, <laughs> was yeah, it the McDonald's <laughs> playground? <laughs> it was the McDonald's playground. I got stuck in one of the tubes. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.